Hello beautiful people of the world and welcome to a new PD tutorial. In this video we're going to make sound. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is to check our audio settings and to do this we need to click on the media menu and go down to audio settings. Now in this window we can choose our sampler rate, our block size and we can also choose our input devices and output devices for our signals to come in to PD and to go out from PD to our sound interface. So once we have chosen our audio interface, we can click to save all settings and in this way PD will remember our settings for the next time we open it. You can click to OK and we're good to go. So now we can create a new patch. And the first thing that we need is a number atom. And we're going to use this to control the frequency of our sine wave oscillator. So again, the shortcut for the number atom is Command 3 or Control 3, and we can place it wherever we want in the patch. Now we need to create the oscillator object. So Control 1 or Command 1. And again, I'll remind you that if you create a new object with another object already selected, the connection between the two objects will be automatically created by PD. So now we can type in OSC and the tilde symbol. Now this object is the sine wave oscillator in PD. Now what is the tilde symbol? It's a symbol that it is used inside PD to distinguish the two main types of objects that we have inside PD. We have audio rate objects that make their calculations at sampled rate speed. And we have controlled rate objects that make their calculations at a lower speed than sampled rate speed. To type in the tilde symbol on a Mac, you will use the old five key combination while on windows you can hold the alt key one to six on the numeric keypad of your keyboard or you can copy paste the tilde symbol from the description of this video okay so now that we have our oscillator we need to create a volume control now, you have to be really careful when working on PD because it doesn't have a master volume control. And since it is a programming language, mistakes can be made. So be careful in this because you could have a very high volume signal coming out of PD if you are not careful. So I strongly recommend that for every patch that you build, you create a master volume control before sending the audio signal out of the patch. So we select our OSC object and we create a new object. So again, command one or control one, and we type in the multiplication symbol and again, the tilde symbol, because we need to work with audio signal because the signal that is coming out from the oscillator, it's an audio signal. Okay, now we need an object to control the volume of the signal coming out of the oscillator. And we're gonna use a slider. So we can go to the put menu and choose the vertical slider or the horizontal slider. It's your choice. And the slider is a graphic control that allows us to control any parameter that we hook it up to. But before we make the connection between the output of the slider and the right inlet of the multiplication object, we need to change the properties of the slider. The slider, in fact, generates number in the 0 to 127 range, which is not what we want. So we right-click on the slider and the properties window opens up. And as you can see, we have the output range, lower and upper parameters. Now the upper parameter is 127 because the median numbers goes from zero to 127. But we need to change the upper value to one. And this is for a very specific reason. 
Inside PD, the range for the audio signal must always be between 0 and 1, where 0 is complete silence and 1 is the maximum amplitude value that we can use. So again, be very, very careful with these numbers and always remember to change the properties for every object that you use to control the amplitude of the audio signals inside PD. So let's change the upper value to 1 and click OK. And to be sure that we have the right value range coming out from the slider, we can create a new number atom and connect it to the slider's output. So now we can connect the slider's output to the right inlet for the multiplication object. Now we need the last object. And the last object that we're going to create is the DAC tilde object, the DAC object. This object takes the audio signal that we create inside our patches and it sends the signal to the sound card, to the sound interface. So we can select the multiplication object and again, Control-1 or Command-1, we can type DAC tilde and we can connect the output of the multiplication object to both the inlets for the DAC object. Now we can switch to performance mode. We can set the frequency of this letter. We can check that the slider is creating, is generating in the right range of numbers. We can set it to zero. And now we need one last step. We have to go to the PD window and we have to click on the DSP button to activate the DSP. This means that we are actually turning on the PD audio engine. Okay, so now we can go back to our patch. We can very slowly turn on the volume by moving the slider and we can change the frequency of our oscillator. Okay, so that's it. We've created our very first synthesizer in PD. It is a very simple one, but we needed to learn very basic concepts. And now that we have this concept, in the next patch, we're going to make more interesting things. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified when a new tutorial is uploaded, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Ciao!